What's up? What up, Jeremy? What's up, Firebird? What's up, NKR? <coughs> All right. NKR, I'm going to send you the StreamYard link. This is just for NKR. Guys, the plan is to talk for about an hour, and then we're going to hop over to uh, Sharp's channel for Multispecies Weekly. And Multispecies Weekly is going to be about 7.30, well, 8.30 Eastern, whatever, an hour and a half from right now. So I'm going to end this thing in about an hour and give 20, 30 minutes in between. So NKR, I am sending you the link in the chat. How's everybody's day going? No, off the hook. No, yours wasn't a short earlier. Like I said, it was the wrong um, aspect ratio. It's got to be 9 16th, so it's got to be portrait. And yours was not. Like your intro is definitely not. So that messes up the whole thing. And then I don't know if the rest was or not. Sorry, I'm adjusting my camera. I think that's that's pretty much perfect. Thanks, Luke. He said, like the hat. <laughs> Fish Slayer, sorry for the timing. I might start streaming 30 minutes later because we are doing live fishing. You're going live today, Fish Slayer? Awesome. Yeah, we're doing multi-species weekly, so you're probably going to get no one in there today. But <laughs> I'd love to send people your way, but I can't because we're going to be live all night. NKR, what happened? He said, let's do this, baby. And then I, I put the link in the chat right there. That's confirmation I put it in. NKR is joining in, everybody. I wasn't lying. He's actually here. He said, so shoot it in portrait, and I won't put my intro in. That's the only way I know how to do it. There's ways people have modified their even their GoPro video to make it portrait. I don't know how to do that. But, yeah, shoot it in portrait, but you also have to edit it, edit it in 916. So even if you shoot it in portrait and then you upload it not in portrait, don't edit it in portrait. We can talk about it. All right, NKR, I'm adding you to the stream. You ready, man? Jake Martin loves the hat. What's up? What's up, dude? How Did you have everybody? school today? Yeah, I had a long online school. Tomorrow I gotta go to school. Alright, yeah, I had class today too. Yeah. If you see the background, that's my sister's dog. I'll take care of right now. Okay. Didn't you make yes, a video dude. with that dog? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come here. Let me get her. Come here. Give me a little stinker. Hmm. There she is. She's low-key. Her name's Lily, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, let's get talking about creek fishing. Yeah, man. So, first off, before we talk about creek fishing, do you have any channel news, any announcements, anything like that? I want to give you your two seconds if you got anything coming up. I've got a couple of things. Um, I'll tell, like, two things. A couple of things will be secret. I can't tell everything. That's but, good, uh, man. Be expecting some fishing uploads coming soon. Maybe next week or this week. You never know. I may <laughs> drop one day. You never know. I probably won't though. But um, and I may be gonna buy. Whenever I go to the beach, I may try see if I can get me a fishing short. I'm not gonna say if I will. But I'm going to this place called Outer Banks, North Carolina, and they have huge fish there. And I, I think I can maybe get a fishing short. Probably not though. But I could try to upload some there. That'd be awesome. That's really exciting. I'd love to see that. Oh, yeah. All right. So if anyone wants to share NKR's link, if there's any um, any mods I know <laughs> off the hook is. Yeah. And then he's got two channels also. You've got a micro fishing channel as well, right? Yep. Yeah, I don't upload them much because, you know, my main channel. Yep. Uh, Firebird short said, I got a country accent. Yeah, I was born in Alabama. I, I live in New North Carolina. Fixie May said, the fish are bigger than you. Don't get eaten. <laughs> She's <laughs> talking to you, man. We can. Me? Oh, yeah. She said, the fish, the fish are bigger like than 3, you. 3,000 pounds. I've heard the biggest. <laughs> it was like 3,000, 4,000 pounds. Yeah, you're going to do some shark fishing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. 
What's up, KY guy? If anyone is, if anyone's a mod that can share links, KY guy is yeah, awesome. Thanks for joining. He says that Indiana Jones. That's awesome. He's getting close to a thousand out of that. Luke Crane said, "How old are you?" I don't know who he's talking I, to. I'm 25. I'm 13. I'm turning 14. He's 13. Yep, I'm going to. Hey, Sharina. Hey, Sharina. How you doing? Sharina. All right, thanks everyone for joining in. So, NKR, you said you're going fishing soon. Soon. You told me that earlier. Creek, no, it's going to be at a reservoir, like 30 minutes from me. Okay. I'll, I'm going to tell you a story real quick about that place. So, that place about back in August or September, we went. Me and my papa, he's always in my fishing videos. He's my cameraman. What's good, Wyatt Willis? I saw that. Um, What's up, Wyatt? <laughs> but anyways, um, there in that day, we went fishing there about five hours. I had a bunch of bites. There was one fish that made me so mad. So we were using live shiners, all right? Me and my papa, we got this bait shop near us. It's a nice bait shop. I may get sponsored by them soon. That's another big thing. But um, hey, I got one question for you. Have you have you yeah. typed anything? Have you typed anything since we started this? No, that's a bot. All right, I'm I'm blocking him. Yep. I thought something fishy was going on. I saw your hands not moving, and someone named NKR keeps typing. I don't know who that was. Somebody uh, was cussing to you. Thank you, Shireen. That means a lot. But, um, yeah, I'll tell you a story. So, I had a, a bull big, like a three-pound bass creeping up my, like, the shiner. This is the shiner right here. It's like this. And then the bass is like, moving in close, and boom! And I missed the hooks, and I was so mad. And then another time... By this log, we were fishing, me and my papa, we were fishing by this big old giant, like, four-foot log, and I had a big, big, big bass on. I don't even know how big it was, but I lost him right at shore. Oh. Yeah. I mean, well, you're going back, so you can get a big one this time, right? Oh, yeah. And springs will be, it's going to be 77 degrees that day, so. Oh, man. I can't wait yeah. till it's 77 here. Friday's going to be 81. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is here, but it's cold and rainy today. Oh yeah, it was cold here. All right. Um. So, are you doing any creek fishing anytime soon? Is that in the plans? Last question. Yes, probably. <laughs> probably. Okay. Um, around here, bait worms are very cheap. Um, they don't cost too much because around here. Sorry for noise. I'm pulling my dogs. I mean, my sister's dog food. But um, around here, there's a lot of good fishing spots. We're like in Virginia. Like this is one of the. We are one of the best like fishing spots in all of Virginia. It's called Smith River, and there's so many watersheds like near us and like creeks, rivers, dams, everything like that. So all around, it's just a great fishing spot around here, everywhere. Awesome. Wyatt Willis said. He's going bass fishing for the first time in a while this April. Awesome. I know wow. a lot of people haven't caught their bass Super yet this young. year. Wow. Well, have a good podcast, y'all. I'm 13. I'm not that young. I'm a teenager. I'm yeah, man. Cut. He's he's on, he's practically a grown man dirt tracking. <laughs> no, I'm small. I'm, I'm like five foot I'm joking. I'm only like five foot all right. tall. I'm not like tall at all. I just broke my pencil. Well, guys, the first thing before I get into this whole creek fishing thing, and I'm going to keep it short, but I want you guys to know that it's important, is safety. There's a couple things that if you've never gone creek fishing, because it's super fun, and I encourage anyone to go do it, but there's a, just a couple things to keep in mind. I got to the creek the other day, and it was way, way too strong of a current, so I just ended up leaving. So that's always something to keep in mind is the current, strong current. Don't go in. If you, if you, oh, he's gone. Oh, hopefully he comes back. I'm not sure what just happened. I'll put the link in again if he needs it again. <laughs> I put it in the chat. <laughs> I don't know where he went, but um, he's coming back. So besides the strong current, don't even go in an area that's super strong. Um, there he is. What happened? <laughs> you hear me? All right. I didn't mean to. I pressed the leave button. I was trying to check the chat. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. All right. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but, yeah, you got strong current. 
you got there's a lot there's a lot of rocks so you got to watch where you're going you can't be sitting there texting and you know taking selfies while you're walking down the creek bed and stuff like that i've yeah. tripped i mean i've literally been watching where i'm going and tripped and almost busted my butt so you got to be careful um there's mud i've literally almost like yeah. quicksand gone up to my knees which would be up to nkr's chest so you got to be careful um yeah, I'm small. The normal stuff that you deal with anywhere you fish, snakes, ticks, bugs, yep. you know, bring sunscreen and bring uh, bug spray or just put that on before you go. Wear a hat. But uh, boots and bring waders. I meant to grab my waders. What's up? Bring first aid kits too. Yeah, that's really smart. First, uh, I have some like some of that basic aid equipment in my bag that I bring. Yeah. Firebird Short <laughs> said this is boring. Bye. Where's he at? I think he left. He said it was boring. <clears throat> I'm getting tired of him anyway, so I just blocked him. What up, Jaden? How you doing? Jayden How's it going, EDJ? EDJ, I've known them since <coughs> last Dude, I, I swallowed some monster, guys. I'm sorry. I'm choking over here. Um, Kaga asked me, I have a question for you, NKR. You spoke about getting a sponsor. How are you going to promote and boost that sponsor's name along here with yours? So... Ray's Bait and Tackle, I think, has a website online. It's not a big website, but I think you can buy stuff. But I'm going to help promote their tackle shop so they can do better. And they've got stickers, shirts, and everything there. It's not a huge tackle box, which is crazy because, you know, I mean, you wouldn't think a small tackle box shop would ever have, like, shirts, T-shirts, hats, stickers. Crazy. What's up, Sunfish Assassin? He said, nice hats, guys. Thanks. <laughs> How you doing, man? Yeah, anyone who wants good. to share links, please please share links, guys. But what KY Guy was saying, we're not going to get too much into that. We can talk about that a lot more in my next content creator stream or even in Multispecies Weekly because we're going to talk YouTube for a bit. But um, number one, yeah, NKR, make sure you're getting something out of it. Anyone who's going to be getting a sponsor, make sure you're getting something out of it. I think he's yeah. playing with the dog. But all, but number two, yeah, how are you going to boost and promote them? You have a channel. You have 500 um, yeah. subscribers, hook sets. So put put their logos in some of your stuff. Use their products yeah. in their videos. Review, review their stuff. And that, the same with any sponsor. But just make sure you're getting something back out of it just to keep it short and sweet. Right. And a good thing is my papa knows everyone around here, like in this like city or town in Eden where, I, where it's like near <laughs> here. Um, he knows everyone, so he knows the people that own the tackle shop. So I'm sure they would maybe let me. Thanks, Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do this interview soon, Sleepy Hollow. I'm gonna try to make it work next weekend. Um, Serena says, and I was just about to ask you, Nkr, let let people know. Have you ever used waders before, or just boots or whatever when you go no, to the creek? I've never waded in the creek. I've always fished from the bank. She says, when you say creek fishing, is that putting on waders and heading out in the water? So, Serena, the first. Many times I've fished in creeks, like many, I never had waders. So I go out with boots and half the time I'd be in water too, too deep. My boots would fill up, but yeah, you can also bank fish in creeks. I've, I know a lot of kids ride their bikes up to the Creek with a fishing rod and do a little fishing from the bank. So that's, that's Creek fishing in my mind too. But as soon as I bought my waders, that's what I think of when I think of Creek fishing is putting those waders on, walking a couple miles upstream and stopping at yep. any hole next to some wood or something like that stopping at any bridge any little riffle in the water by a waterfall or some rocks anything that looks good and just tossing out some baits or some lures depending on what you're using hey sunfish king have you saw my spillway creek fishing video like like back in like september yep creek fishing did you watch it yeah i did oh yeah that was a good video yeah, I would share the link, but I got too much stuff going on in the chat right now. But yeah, you're fine. If anyone wants to try to find that, they can. But just go to NKR's channel. His link is in, should be in the description of this video yeah. if I'm doing my job right. My most popular video is like a two, three hundred view video. It's a good video. But thank NKR you and Sunfish King. Too. Yeah, man. Dirt Tracking said, "What is your yeah. worst fishing injury?" I'll let you tell it first. Do you have a bad fishing injury you've ever got? Well, I haven't broke anything, but I had. A a deep stuck in me, and it took like 15 20 minutes to get out. Yeah, that's tough. awful. Yeah, but it didn't leave a scar, luckily. 
That's good, man. Um, I'm going to get to people in the chat. I'm a little behind. Sorry. Um, my worst, I don't know. I've definitely fallen down and hurt myself in the creek before. I've only gotten small hooks in myself so far. Or if I've got big, big hooks in, it's never been deep. So I've never had a really bad like hook that I had to pull out. Um, yeah. But definitely falling down, hurt myself in the rocks. And I almost drowned literally yesterday. And uh, yeah. I, I actually got in a wreck yesterday too with my car, which was dumb. Yeah, but that wasn't happen. fishing. That was coming back from fishing. So I don't have any horrible fishing injuries that I can remember. If I think of any, I'll let you guys know. And then yeah. Dixie May, let us know. <laughs> We've gone too far behind. I forget what you mean. But she said that sounded funny without adding the fishing part. I'm sure, I'm sure it is funny, but I don't know what I said. Hmm. Yeah, I heard yesterday your um your day was kind of rough. I mean, yeah, it seems like a rough day. You, if you're trying to go live, Luke, let me know this weekend. I'll try to st I'll try to do a different day from you, so we don't step on each other's feet. It's gonna be hard though because we, there's a lot of people who go live on the weekends. So I will try. <laughs> See you, dude. Jeremy's heading out. Yeah, I'm so behind in the chat. I'll I'll catch up super quick. Um, Sunfish Assassin said, I'm cooking Sunfish Stew at the moment. How's everyone doing? Um, that sounds pretty good. I think what up, Ben Rich boys? Writing in the Arabic. Yeah, yeah. Woman that's that's, I, forget, yeah. I forget. I asked her her name today, and I don't want to mispronounce it. Oh, is it Mondel or something like that? Mondel? Um, but yeah, she's from Algeria. She's been in a lot of my streams lately. Wow, not Algeria? It, no, Algeria. Which is in Africa, yeah. Yep. So KY guy, KY guy says Instagram will be your best friend. I never tell anyone who's below eighteen to get an Instagram. They can if they want, if it's okay with their parents, everything like that. Because it's just like fish brain. You'll get the random, you know, half naked girl sending you fake pictures, stuff like that, and uh, oh, sending you real fake pictures, but a fake account. You know what I mean? So, but Instagram is a good way to get your name out there. I just be careful if you're a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Luke Crane's Outdoors said, I'm cooking Senko stew. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If anyone was in that live stream the other day, it got out of hand. <laughs> we talked about eating baits for some reason. Eating baits? Hold on. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> Musky <laughs> bait, big jerk bait, hook eight thought. Uh, Hook in the meat. Oh my goodness. All right, off the hook is saying his worst injury. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a bad injury. He said a big old musky jerk bait hook. It's an eight aught hook in the meat because they get they got big baits for big fish. He got in the meat of his palm, so I'm guessing somewhere in the middle there. And he had to cut off the hook and tape it to his hand until he was done with the turn. Oh, he's in the middle of a tournament. Oh he gosh. went he kept going with the tournament though, guys. That's a trooper. That just I, I just had a pain in my hand from that. <laughs> hey, Tips I see outdoors. I know that guy from Fishburn. I met him on Fishburn. Very yep, nice that's guy. my grandpa. How you doing? How you doing? How's the weather there? It's cold and rainy here. And then Tips Icy, what's up, man? How you doing? Um, I would be sharing links, but I can't do that and talk and read the chat at the same time. I was just way behind, so sorry, guys. Um, if there's any mods here, mods in here, they can take care of that. I can't even talk. Wheat and plastic worms again. Yeah. Must deep fry. Where? <laughs> We're not going to go into talking about eating plastic worms. It's not necessary That's for creek fishing. Nothing. But, yeah, I would have brought my waders. I'd show them to you guys. But uh, I don't know if I can pop them up on the screen real quick. Maybe I can. It's not really important. They're they're about 100 bucks. They're Magellan waders. I just recommend getting – I wouldn't buy, like, $40, $50 waders because they'll probably last, like, one or two yeah. trips, something like that. But then again, you don't need four hundred dollar waders if you're just gonna be doing creek fishing. Yeah. So what you're talking about creek fishing wise? Creek fishing wise. What up, Brax? Fishing outdoors. And then in Florida, it was seventy eight today. He says only seventy eight. Seventy eight today. Warm up starts tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I wish seventy eight would be warm for here. So I want to talk, uh, like I, I guess techniques and stuff like that. We could talk about that yeah. for a while. I, I also meant to go get one of my lighter rods, um, to show that off. But this right here is actually not bad for some creek fishing for bass. What it's got tied on here. This is a six foot medium rod. It's the Lose XJ. It's kind of a finesse thing. Not the XJ. I'm so sorry. This is the Lose Xfinity Speed Stick, and it's got a little like Ned Rig crawl thing on. 
Um, but I was tossing around Ned Rig, like Z-Man, PBJ, in Arkansas. And I caught some smallies, and the person I was with caught some rock bass, stuff like that. So those are great. Yeah. Um, Blaine and then bass, the biggest grunts we've caught. The biggest. A new. What'd you say? I said I've caught a Thank green sunfish that was nearly about. Oh really? Wow. That's My biggest is about eleven ounces. Um. I don't know if I have a picture, but it's ugly. I'll have to bring up a picture sometime and show you guys. It was uh, it was like blue. It didn't even look like a green sunfish. It was old and all raggedy. Let's see. Um, also, guys, and worms, like live bait works awesome in creeks. It depends on how deep and what you think is yeah. in there. You know, you can use catch little sunfish and stuff and put them back on a bigger hook and toss it out with a little bit of weight. Make sure you have enough weight so that your bait's not moving across the water like more stronger current more weight with no matter what you're using but what i want to show off here i've been using these in the creeks lately hold on oh in care what rod do you what rods would you use when you're going to the creek i use about a i can't i don't know what how did i think it's like an eight foot six maybe like a six three a zebco rod um and I got a Zebco reel with it. Um, it's really, really good for creek fishing. It's about a I don't know how I use and I catch fish on this a twelve pound line on it. Cause I okay. fish and I fish like three feet deep. But I do catch nice fish on it. And that's a spot though. Yeah, it seems like there's there's fish shallow and there's fish deep, and it yeah. depends what you're going for. Sometimes in shallow rocks, I'll get sunfish and little you know minnows, creek chubs. But sometimes in the deeper holes, you'll catch bass bigger catfish stuff like that but this is yeah. super fun in the creeks anything from creeks like little creek chubs will still put up a good I fight a on a rod like this i've been catching shiners chubs and a couple sunfish oh. on these and then as far as rigging for yeah this is definitely ultralight it's a three like three foot rod it's a shakespeare ugly stick dock runner so this is good weight yeah. for normal creeks that aren't moving yeah, very fast. Yeah, Quarter creek. ounce. Yeah. That's Put nice. a li little more yeah, weight. Like a little little more weight for a little bit stronger current swivel. And then what size hooks would you use in KR for just yeah. micro fishing? I mean, not micro, for just multi-species fishing in the creeks. I'd use like an eight or a six if I didn't know what was in there. Um, probably about an eight or a six, yeah. Eight or a six is good. Smaller for micros, bigger, bigger. fish don't want to buy bigger hooks. They like this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I've landed this yeah. this 40, 41 pounder. I landed this on a size six. So size six can catch you if they're strong hooks. They can catch you big fish. It's just not ideal. They can also get bent out. You know. Let's see what I missed in the chat. Um. My grandpa ran a hook deep into his pinky finger once. Oh, ouch. That's never fun. Oh. I'm going to feel that in that next morning. I'll tell you that. You freezing up a little balls. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. My internet's just fine. I use good internet. Yeah, to me, NKR is freezing up a little bit. I can still hear you fine. It's just like, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Dixie May, when you say creek to me, Creek to me only has crayfish at most knee deep water. No, there's, I could go out in one of those creeks, the knee deep water, and I could just catch fish all day. It's awesome. They live in the rocks and stuff like that. You got little sunfish, yep. you got creek chubs, you got shiners. I've caught like three pound bass out of little creeks, like tiny little creeks like that. And then, all right, Dixie May, I'm putting this, um, uh, It seems like we're both lagging. No. Yeah, it lagged out for a second. My internet just now said it's it's I getting low. So if, if I freeze, that's what's going on. But it should come back. There we go. It's coming back. But go check out I-H-U-N-T-A, iHunter. I'm putting that in the chat. He I goes in water that's less than knee deep. Yeah. He catches fish all day. I hunt is what awesome. up, Henry Harrington? Yeah, I hunt is awesome. The best thing is I'm always first uh, yep. What up, Zen and Dreamy Zone? 
Hey, Johnny, I caught a fish in Canada. You doing any fishing, man? Hope you're feeling all right. Yes, Dick. Is that YouTube? Yeah, I hunt is on YouTube. He's, he catches a lot of fish out of water like this deep. <laughs> it's crazy. Yep. He's scuba fishes. All right, and then anyone in the chat, what's your favorite thing to throw yeah. in creeks? You throw in Ned rigs, like you throw in live bread. bait, bread. What are you saying, KR? His screen's lagging. I oh, said no. our screen's lagging. Hell, let's try this. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove you and try to let you back in and see if that does anything. I don't know. Should let's I try go? it. Yeah, I'm going to remove you, and then I'm going to send you the link and let you back in, just because it's lagging pretty bad. Hopefully, we can get it figured out. I'm putting the link back in the chat. This is just for NKR. I had to remove him because his internet's lagging out. But hopefully, he can join back in. Not yet. Okay, hopefully, you can get out and go fishing soon. Uh, guys, someone share his link if you can. Check out I Caught a Fish in Canada. He's got a really, really, really awesome channel. He's a good guy. Dirt tracking likes to use corn in creeks. Yeah, and you could what what size hooks would you use? Because you could throw out honestly, you could put two or three little kernels of corn, or even one, depending on how small the fish are you're going for, on a little hook like this. And I've caught ten pound carp on um, size six hooks with corn on them. Luke Crane loves the rooster tail. They're great. I went out with the rooster tail the other day, and the creek was moving pretty fast. So it was just carrying it. It didn't weigh enough. I could have got a bigger one, um, but I don't think I have one with me. But rooster tails, little spinners like this, the Panther Martin, they're great in creeks, depending on what's there. You got trout in there, you'll tear it up all day. They do well for sunfish. They do well for bass, especially smaller bass. I'm letting NKR right back in. Fingers crossed that this works, guys. We got 15 people in here, guys. Hit that like button. Help us out. We got my man NKR back in the house. What's up, man? What's up? Oh. I think it's a little bit. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Let's see. Sunfish it's assassin like live lag. bait. I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, it's laggy. I don't, I don't know, know, man. Do you want to try this again? You want to try another live stream another day or something like that? I can stay on here, but I, I really can't hear you, man. Yeah, my yeah, yeah, I can't hear nothing. <laughs> My internet's usually fine, though. I don't know what's happening. Not sure. I caught a fish in Canada's been collecting video content for his new video. What? Sweet, man. So, what should I do? I don't know what to do. I mean, I want to hang out. Uh, I'll probably know. just have to finish this and thing by myself and let you let you join in the, the chat. And talk. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to just let you join in the chat, and then we'll have to do this guys. again in the next couple of days. Gals. Sorry, man. I I don't know. It's it's just not working. We'll have to do it again okay. though for sure. But you can join in the ch in the chat if you want. Um, you yeah. don't have to. But yeah, guys, this is NKR. Okay. I'll share his link a couple more times. Actually, his links are his links are both in the description. But we'll do this again soon. I'm gonna keep talking. So you guys can stay in here and we'll yeah. keep talking creek fishing, but he's having internet problems, not his fault. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> See you, man. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to end it. All right. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we're definitely going to have NKR back on soon. Um, my internet says it's fine, so I think he's just having some problems. I'm really sorry that happened, guys. Uh, not either of our faults. He'll be back on soon. Last time I interviewed him, we did like two hours, and he was his internet was fine. Mine was fine the whole time. So it might be a storm. I don't know. Hopefully it comes back. Guys, what brands of rooster tails and spinners do you like? I love Panther Martin. Meps makes good stuff. Um, and then rooster tails, like actual rooster tails are good. Off the hook said he likes rooster tails and creeks. Let us know what you guys like to catch with rooster tails and spinners, spoons, stuff like that, because they're great for trout. They're all right. They're pretty good for sunfish and bass and stuff like that. I think you flash one in front of a gar, you'll get its attention. Big giant ones can probably get you musky and pike. 
Sunfish Assassin, size six hooks were his favorite. Dude, they are my favorite too. Like those are the multi-species hooks. And with bluegills, sometimes you need a little smaller ones for the smaller bluegills, but size six can, can catch you anywhere from bluegills this big to giant ones. Just, it seems sometimes there's nibbling at it. But yeah, size six is my favorite. When I go out fishing for most species with just worms, it's almost always size six. Cut a 25 pound on a number six. Yep. Size six are awesome. I use corn. I don't use it for chum. I promise. Don't arrest me. I use corn for chum for carp. It's awesome. You go out and throw it in a spot in the river or something like that. Just feed corn. Just use feed corn. It's it, like dry corn in big bags for like hunting and stuff like that. It's super, super, super cheap. You get a big bag. Go throw it out in the spot and then do some fishing with some actual like corn in a can. Do the same thing, same spot the next day, same time. Do that same thing like three, four days in a row if you can. And I guarantee one of those days you'll catch carp if they're in the area. They can also catch you catfish, sunfish, stuff like that, depending on the size of the hook. Map spinners get the pike in Canada. Yeah, yeah. They're just a lot bigger than the type of spinners I'm doing. I'm doing like one eighth ounce spinners. I'm sure those ones are huge. <clears throat> Walmart's got a nice creek fishing kit for five dollars. All right, guys, go check out EDJ Fishing's channel. He's got um, if anyone wants to share the link, that's cool. They got a nice creek fishing kit for five dollars. I haven't seen one in my Walmart, but that's pretty that's pretty interesting. You can't really go too wrong for five dollars. You know what I mean? Even if it's not great, you didn't didn't miss out on much. Later, Serena. I'm, you'll you'll get your sticker pretty soon, for sure. Thank you for joining in. Sunfish Assassin said his local rivers are creeks in size. Yeah, it seems like it's hard to find the spot where like the rivers are really, really flowing. We got the Missouri River, so it's huge. And then the Blue River comes off that. It's pretty big for a little bit, then almost immediately turns into basically what you'd call a creek. And that's where I fish a lot of the time. So it, it might look wide like a river in some spots, and then it's like <laughs> that deep. He said, what do we have today? We're talking about creek fishing, man. I know you love creek fishing, guys. Talking about creek fishing. I caught a fish in Canada that definitely does some creek fishing, so check out his channel. But, yeah, we're going to talk about creek fishing for another 30 minutes or so, and then we are doing multi-species weekly on Sharp's channel. So the link in my description that says Sharp Fishing TV, exactly one hour from now, we are going to be going live on his channel talking about multi-species fishing. We're going to be talking about Florida, bass, saltwater fishing uh, talking about if you have a youtube channel at the end we're going to talk about how you can stay motivated and like youtube tips and stuff like that yeah 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 yeah. got a lot planned today my voice is already going out and i apologize i have the energy to go all night but my voice is going to sound like i'm dying for the second half of this night i don't know what to do about it i'm gonna sound like a freaking smoker man when you go out, how many rods and reels on average do you take with you? If I'm going to be in in my car, I mean, if it was up to me, my car would have 10 in it. You know, the options for anything I want to throw out there. But if I'm walking around in the creeks just tossing out lures and stuff like that, I always want to bring two. But I always end up running one back to the car as quickly as possible because it just gets annoying. Like, if I want to throw – if I want to throw – spinners if i want to throw ned rig if i want to throw um, soft plastics little jigs anything like that i'm just bringing one rod because i am mobile i fish a little spot in the creek if it's not producing i keep moving keep moving until i find the spot that is if i'm going to be going out and fishing in a creek and still moving around a little bit but not as much finding little pockets and just chilling there for a while and using live bait like worms um i might i'm sure i have at least a couple videos on it some of my older ones but i definitely got some coming soon I'll put up, I don't really have real good rod holders, so if I get a big bite, I might lose a rod, but I'll put up like, literally, uh, that didn't work out, I'll put up a backpack, and I'll, or something, you know, get some sticks, anything to hold my rods up, and I'll bring, I'll put two of them, whether it's those tiny little ones I was showing off, this thing, or whether it's bigger rods like this one, but I'll usually put two out with worms on them, and I like to find a spot where it's so active, depending on what I'm fishing for, if it's smaller fish. It's only fun if I find a spot that's so active, I can just 
toss one out, toss the other one out. If I don't get a bite in the next 30 to 60 seconds, I just reel in and toss it back out. Seems like creek chubs, sunfish, a lot of that stuff will wait. And then they like to hit it as it's dropping or right after it drops as far as worms and stuff. Oh, Serena stands. You're saying bye to NKR. Okay. My bad. Well, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sharing my link off the hook. What's in season in your area? Well, I've caught bass already. I've caught, I went down and caught south and caught some smallmouth and uh, sculpin and some weird chub thing that I don't know what it is. And then, uh, you know, the, the you can catch Asian carp right now. They're more active in the cold water. I haven't caught any common carp, grass carp yet. But uh, the bass are still a little slow, but you can definitely catch them right now. You can definitely go catch a decent amount of bass. Uh, sunfish are, for some reason, lagging behind. You can go catch the sunfish, but it seems like only the small ones in shallow water are active right now. And I haven't even, the green sunfish seem to not be active either, so... The weather's doing weird things. It's been really cold and rainy today. As soon as we get a warm day, it's cold again, so the water temperatures are going nuts. But pretty soon, everything's going to be in season. And catfish have been good. What up, Casting with Cass? He said, yo, King, I made it. Thanks for making it, man. This thing is going to go for another 30 minutes, and then I'm going to end this stream, give everyone 10, 15 minutes to do whatever they want. Uh, and then if you want to come back, we're going to be going on Sharp's channel, and we're going to be doing multi-species weekly like we do every Tuesday. So that's going to start... Um, in just under an hour it's going to start 30 minutes at and 7 seven thirty in my time whatever that is from your time so just under an hour from now 7 30 central but thanks everyone for being here we're going to talk for 30 more minutes creek fishing creek fishing whatever you guys want to talk about <clears throat> my throat is so dry today i don't know what to do guys but yeah and then we're going to hop over to that channel what up snags and drags um off the set said hook off the hook. Wow, I can't talk. Said hook set Serena. Thanks, man. That's awesome. You got a Cast King Spartacus reel. What rod would you suggest? Let me look that up real quick, and I'll get to everyone else in the chat. If anyone knows, uh, let Serena know what rod she would suggest with a Cast King Spartacus reel. Let me look that up so I know what so I know what I'm talking about. Cast King Spartacus reel. I'm already predicting I'm going to have a crazy caffeine rush and have to pee all night because my throat is so freaking dry. And all I have in here with me right now is more coffee and more Monster. So let's see. Oh, wow. So it's a – looks like they have them anywhere from – oh, some of them are even cheaper. Most of them are anywhere from 60 to 100 or so. They're a bait casting reel. What is the gear ratio on it? What is the gear ratio? What do you plan on throwing with it? What up, Harrison? I'm going to end this thing um, maybe 7, 10, 8, 10 your time. So people have 20, 30 minutes to, uh, you know, in between streams. I'm not going to step on your toes. And at the end of this thing, I'm trying to get people in here. They want to talk fish and stuff like that. So then we can just hop right on over to your stream and do that thing. So I think it's going pretty well. NKR was in here. And it was going really well. I, and uh, if you're still in here, NKR, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened, but you can definitely come back and we'll, we'll talk again in, in the future real soon. But his internet was having issues and he was lagging out. I couldn't even hear him or see him or anything. In the creek you go is very good. Creek trout just wait. Oh, my goodness. We don't have we don't have a wild trout here, so no, none of the creeks have trout. But there's a river three hours away <laughs> where they stocked some trout, but some are – you know, some have been born there because the water always stays cold, always stays good for trout, which is not normal in Missouri. But I'm going to make a video there two weeks from now, something like that. I don't know when the video is going to come out, but I'll definitely film it two weeks from now. I'm trying to get some time to edit, guys, because I have a library of videos just ready to come out. What up, Sniper of Spades? Thanks for being in here. We are talking fishing in the creek. Creek fishing. Going out with waders, fishing from the bank, um, even fishing with kayaks. I'd love to find a, a creek deep enough for long enough with nothing. You know, you got to scope out a good spot where you're not going to run into like falls or something that you're not expecting. But scope out a good spot to kayak. You got to just walk a decent spot, find access to it. But I'd love to find a spot to kayak as soon as I get a kayak, which I don't know when that's going to be. Hopefully soon. 
send some channel links. I want to hook set some channels. Yeah, if we got any uh, Harrison, if you're in here, if we got any mods in here, I can't do. I can't like just be sitting here sending channel links while I'm talking. But if anybody wants to do that, snags and drags. Um, do you want to do me a favor? Let me know after this after this stream if you want me to make you a mod, and you know how to share channel links probably. I'm I'm guessing, but if not, we can tell you. But that'd be awesome if you could help out with stuff like that. Um, it's we get a lot of people in here, and I love to send out links and stuff like that of all the the YouTubers that are in here and stuff like that. Let's see, see snags and drags hooks at cast and cast. He hooks at oh yeah, definitely go check out both of those channels. I caught a fish in Canada and cast with cast. Awesome, 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 awesome. Dude, I'm not sure why you saw that so long after I typed that, Harrison. It's because I'm way behind in the chat. He said like three minutes. I'm way behind, Harrison. I'm the last thing I saw was back there to say what's what is cranking. I don't know what's cranking. This crankbait might be cranking. <laughs> we hit the golden number 469. What do you mean? What do you mean we hit the golden number 469? Yeah, I'd love to be a mod. Awesome. Yeah. It's just a couple rules, you know, don't don't cuss in here. If anyone comes in cussing, you you just block them. But usually I handle stuff like that. And my biggest thing is just share links and stuff like that. You just type the person's name, put a little space, and then share their link. I'll make you a mod after this. It won't make you a mod for the next stream on Harrison's channel, but it will make you a mod for the next one on my channel, which I'm definitely having some coming soon. What up, Cameron Sinclair? Sunfish Assassin. I would share out links if I knew how. Sunfish Assassin. All right. Not difficult. So are you on your phone or are you on your computer? All you do if you're on your phone, Exit out of the chat for a second. Go type in somebody's channel on YouTube. Search it. When the channel comes up, there should be little three little dots somewhere. Either click the channel if there's not, or just click those three little dots. There should be something that says share, um, share link, or copy link to clipboard. It's the exact same way you should you should share out your link on, you know, Fishbrain on Instagram, anything like that. And then you just put it. You just in the chat. You type. I'll show you. Like for example, actually. Guys, I don't know why I'm being dumb. I can share my screen. I'm not very smart. So I'm going to get to the rest of the people in the chat. But real quick, if anybody is interested in being a mod, I won't just make anybody a mod, but I definitely could use a couple mods, whatever. So what I got to do here, that's separate so I can see it. Okay. Ah, I don't want it full screen. Technical difficulties. Technical serious difficulties. Wow, it's going nuts. All right, guys. So this is off the hook outdoors. I'll show you how to share. Whose link should I share? Backyard boy. They said love the hat. Thank you. So I typed in boy. That's not going to work. Bring them up. It's backyard boy TV. I've typed in them before. Look, if you're in the Sunfish Squad, you're going to get subscribed to and you're going to get hooked set. That thing is going to stay gray always. We like to support each other. So right here, I don't see anything on my computer. On your phone, it might have three dots right there. If it does, click them and see the options. I have to click on him and bring it up. And on the computer, I copy the link. And then I put it in the chat down here and I type in Backyard Boy TV. If we're really busy, just type that. If you got time, type like awesome channel, blah, 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 whatever he does, catches good fish. And then you just paste it. Just like that. Later, Dixie. And that's how it's done. Stop sharing that screen, and I'm back. So, yeah. All right. Hook sets. I have, I have 469, or who has 469? Probably me, because I had 466 earlier today when I checked. Loving the hat. All right, turn check, and easy. <laughs> Hook set. I caught a fish in Canada. We got kids in here and stuff, too. Sniper of Spades said, I'm down for mod. Okay, yeah. Obviously, mods can't cuss in here. They got to be nice to people and then just share links. So I just tell that to everybody. I'm not saying you're going to cuss in here. I know you're not. <laughs> but that's those are my rules. You know, be friendly, don't cuss, share links. And then if anyone comes in saying F this, F that, Sunfish King sucks, stuff like that, just go ahead and block them or time them out, whatever. Um, off the hook said he hooks that I caught a fish in Canada. That's awesome. Guys, we got about 20 minutes left on this thing. Let's see. And later, Dixie, thanks for being in here. It is a 631. She plans on targeting bass, crappie, and bluegill. It's new to her. 
I've never known about top tar targeting crappie and bluegill with a bait caster. If you guys have, go ahead and let her know. Because I've always used, you know, smaller spinning reels for stuff like that. But for bass and a 631, guys, let her know what you would throw. I, I would imagine a 631 is good for cranks. It's 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 slower than what I have a 711, which is like an all around. So 631 is like six, I don't know, point three rotations per spin or something like that of the reel. I'm not exactly sure how that works. But um, I can type it in too for sure. Let's see. What baits six three one? And I'm just I'm like you. I'm just trying to get better with all this stuff and learning. You know what works good with this, so I can target specific stuff rather than it's always fun to just go out and throw worms and get whatever you you know catch whatever. But it gets fun and more of a challenge to go target specific um, species and stuff. This says in praise of the six three one gear ratio bait cast reel, and this is Cabela's. This is just talking about any. General 631. Um, says a lot of people move to the 731, which is faster. For those who still have a 631. Crank baits and larger swim baits. I think larger swim baits need need a maybe a little faster and a little bit of a, a little bit of a stiffer rod. So I would usually pair that with maybe a little bit faster. But I, I may not know 100 percent what I'm talking about. These are what the people are saying on here though. Six is good all around speed. They can be used for everything you throw, but some people like to use faster ones for other things. This is what this is being said. This is what. Wow, this is what the people are saying on Bass Bass Pro here. What up, Nate? How's it going, man? Are you wearing your Sunfish King hat right now? I bet he is. <laughs> I'm just joking, bro. He won my uh, giveaway before. John Doe said, hi. He said, what type of rod do you got behind you? Oh, just that one right there. So I've got a lot of rods behind me. The, the one that is my newest is this. I know you're not talking about this one. That's a lose American Hero bait caster. The one behind me is just a cheapo forty dollar combo. Actually, it's not. It doesn't have the cheapo rod. It's got a little bit less cheapo rod, but it's just the GX2 ugly stick. Just this with the GX2 reel that came with it was forty bucks. But I've got a lose um, laser thing on there. It was I don't know thirty forty bucks something like that. But I was using that at the river last, which is not ideal for like big, big fish at the river. How do you paste links as dirt dragon? You can't paste links unless you're a mod. I don't like bait casters, LOL. Your name is Buck and Bass. You're gonna have to you have to learn them eventually for sure, Buck and Bass. I didn't like them either until I got my first one. I started out with with spinning rod. Off the hook said Nate B. Sniper of Spade said, any tips for fishing cats? You mean fishing for catfish? Guys, uh, let him know. I, I don't claim to be the best cat fisherman. As far as hooks, you really, if you're targeting big cats, you almost can't go too big, like, unless you're using giant saltwater hooks. <laughs> but, like, 8 odds not too big. People use 10, 12 odd even, because flatheads and big blue cats and stuff, they have giant mouths. But anything from hot dogs, and they can be cured in salt, they can be cooked, they can have jello, Kool-Aid, uh, cheese, garlic, all types of random stuff on them. People love different baits. Beef livers, chicken livers. Guys, comment your favorite um, your favorite catfish bait, basically. Vienna sausages, I've heard. People put any type. I've heard of somebody running out of bait and putting steak from their Chipotle burrito on there and catching smaller channel cats. Um, I've caught catfish on worms, caught them on minnows. Any, any live fish pretty much can catch you catfish. Cut up pieces of carp, mullet, sunfish. Any really anything cut up pieces of other catfish can catch catfish bullheads like live bullheads with a massive hook through them have caught massive flatheads before dough baits stink baits I'm leaving all types of stuff out you have a, two of my exact combos said backyard boys see great minds think alike think alike and cheap wallets think alike too <laughs> I know neither of us are millionaires I'm not saying that you're as poor as I am NKR fishing and outdoors what's up man thanks for coming back in 
I was trying to paste the link, LOL. Yeah, we'll have to talk about it, Dirt Track, and I might be able to figure something out. Let's see. Fresh cut fish. Fresh cut fish. Yeah, I have a lot of cut bait in my freezer, and it will work for sure. Oh, I forgot shrimp. Frozen shrimp works awesome. Uh, frozen uncooked shrimp works really good. But fresh cut fish, uh, something about being fresh dead, you know, it's going to more resemble stuff that they find. They're not going to find frozen frozen fish that's three months old from the freezer very often sitting there. So the fish might not be smart enough to tell the difference, but something about that fresh cut fish maybe has more juices on it, puts more stuff into the water. I'm not really sure exactly. I know the frozen stuff does that really well because it's got that juice and it's frozen kind of melts out. But I know fresh cut definitely works really good. Shrimp is a great catfish bait. Yeah, he said that before I even said it. I'm just now getting to it. Sorry, I'm behind. Thanks, NKR. Cut bait, dead bait, stink bait, anything that stinks says tips icy. People use gummy worms up on the red. People use gum gummy worms to catch cats. I know someone who use whole dead rats for catfish bait. That's nasty. That person's going to get diseases messing with that stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I know people use live like feeder mice and stuff and catch even bass on them under, under bobbers and stuff. Let's see. Sharina said, I love my slime cat and lose SC600 for catfish with a Carolina rig. Six eye eagle claw hook. And I use worms and drum for bait. Yeah, I'm sure drum would be great bait because there's always seems to be drum in those dirty rivers, it, at least where I'm at. I know drum don't live everywhere. Um, but worm, worms are awesome bait. And half the time you think you caught a nice catfish, what does it end up being? A drum. So, yeah, they're not, they're not the best to eat. You can definitely eat drum. But they have those cool stones in their head if you cut them open just right. And uh, they're definitely good bait. Sunfish, I'm going to head out. Help me with the hook sets, guys. So as Sunfish King. Yep. So I don't know if he's saying hooks at him or just help him like, I think he's saying help him share links and stuff. But yeah, definitely go check out NKR. He's getting close to 525, if not there already. He's going to be at 550 before you know it. His link for both of his channels. He's got another channel that's at like 35. They're both in the description for this video. But if there's any mods, I think he might be saying help, help share links. But thanks for being in here, man. Dirt Dragon said, hey, Sharina, I love your name. That's a good one of a kind name. I have never heard that name before, actually. And that is an awesome name. So thanks, Dirt Dragon. Bucky Bass, if you got a question, yeah, just ask it if it's appropriate for sure, man. Fresh cut fish are a big deal. Oils when you cut fish fresh. Mm -hmm. And I know some people who use live. I don't like to do this, like torture the fish too bad, but I know some people who catch live fish and they they want to use live sunfish as bait. And they kind of like cut them open a little bit through the scales and through the first layer of skin. And like some of this oil stuff starts to drip out and it's like, they're like, oh, that'll attract the fish more. I'm like, eh. But yeah, I mean. You're using them for bait and sticking a hook through them anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Should I keep doing my weekly shout outs or only do it monthly? That depends, Buck and Bass. It depends on what you want to do, and it depends on uh, if you have time for it. If you got time to do it weekly and you want to do it weekly, go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll have to check those out. I think I've seen one or two. If it's just a weekly shout out, maybe add something to it. Maybe do a weekly going and checking on a creek, maybe do a weekly like fishing video or a weekly review video of one of your pieces of tackle or something like that. And then do the shout outs. But I'm going to try to work on that in the future. Not do too many videos where I'm just announcing some piece of information. You can definitely do that and it's fine. But I've noticed that a lot of people, even the pros and stuff like that, the people who have giant YouTube channels, when they announce stuff, if they're a fishing channel, they'll still end up doing fishing, doing some fishing in the video or something like that and keeping it entertaining. Raw bacon is great catfish bait in rivers. Never tried it. May have to try it for a video now. Tips icy. Do you guys have sturgeon down that way? You're talking to me? I got, we have sturgeon in the rivers. I've never caught one. I was just talking to Serena about this the other day because she caught a sturgeon. Thing looked like a freaking shark. But I've never caught one. So that's on my list for this year. I want to go to the river and catch a sturgeon. They'll bite on cut bait, worms, stuff like that. You had a problem with the server, but you're back. Thanks for coming back. Serena fishes the White River. They have sturgeon there. And like I said, she just posted a video of one. Check it out. Yeah, guys. So um, I said I wasn't going to share links, but oh, shoot. If we got any mods, can can they share Serena's link? I'm going to try to do it. Serena's keeping it real. 
There you go. Click on that. Yeah, I actually got it. I got it. Don't worry. Copy. Serena. So here's the link to her channel. She's awesome. She got an awesome channel. And you guys should definitely go check it out. And yeah, she caught a sturgeon recently. I think it was crazy looking. Sunfish. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people do that. Trim the tails so they flutter around and stuff like that. When I use live bait or cup bait, I trim I trim all the tails off and all the fins and everything like that. But yeah, I've seen people do that live. I've never done that live. I usually just put a hook through them and throw them out there. I will, man. I'm going to get a sturgeon somehow, some way. EDJ said Sharina and her are from the same area. Well, what do you know? It's a small world, guys. About 10 more minutes. I want to keep talking, guys. About 10 more minutes on this thing, and then we're going to have to we're gonna have to end it. But I am going to be talking in 30 minutes on Harrison's channel. So Sharp Fishing TV, his link is in my description. And we can, if half of you guys, if all you guys, whoever wants to hop over there, we're going to be doing that. I just need like 10 minutes in between to think about a couple things and go to the bathroom, get some food, all that stuff. Yeah. And Dirt Tracking, awesome guy. He says, I love the Sunfish community. Not toxic. Sunfish King, 2052 president. I'll be old by then, bro. That's awesome. <laughs> Is that even an election year? Did you do the math? That's hilarious, though. Yeah, I love the Sunfish community. And not just, I love the whole YouTube fishing community. So you got all these people who are in the live streams and doing live streams. So, like we said, Sharina, you got Fishing Magician, you got two stands. You got Mike Turner, JV, Fish Natcher. There's so many people that I haven't even named, like Has Life, Chunky Cats. There's a million people. Uh, Eric Burnside, he's always in here doing live streams. And nine out of 10, if not 10 out of 10, and I think it might be 10 out of 10 of them, are all awesome people. Like, literally awesome people. And they're the type of people that not only are awesome to watch their videos, but sit there in the chat with them for five, six hours while they're out there catching fish or even having a bad day and not catching fish. So it's super awesome. The support's been unreal. And a lot of people, I think, have been able to grow and reach other viewers to enjoy their content and stuff like that. And it's been good for everyone that wouldn't have otherwise if they didn't have the support of the YouTube fishing community. I got a little behind, but yeah, love, love the YouTube fishing community, love the Sunfish Squad. And then I'm not trying to claim like it's my community or anything like that. Cause I, I consider the Sunfish Squad like all your guys' uh, support groups and stuff as well are welcome to hop in my streams. And I'll gonna, I'm gonna go check them out if I can and stuff like that. So just everyone needs to have their own support group and, and uh, YouTube family and stuff like that if you're gonna have a channel. And then if we can get, my people with your people, your people with my people, stuff like that will all grow and, and uh, get better at making videos and get better at doing live streams and reach new people, meet new awesome people. It's just, it's like positive all around. Backyard Boy said no one's from Utah. I don't know if anyone here is from Utah. I don't think so. I'm from uh, Missouri. Sunfish Assassin, see you later, man. If you do, if you do come back, if you do like want to come back and talk, like I said, we'll be on Sharp's channel later. It'll be me and him talking. About Florida, warm water, bass, salt water, blah, 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 YouTube, all types of stuff. What's the link for the live? Oh, let me put that in the chat. All right. All right. Let me go over here to oh, Sharp Fishing TV. It should come up. There it is. That's not what I want. How do I share it? Well, guys, I don't know how to do this. Share. Copy. Copy the link. I copied the link. I just actually X out the whole thing. Let's go. Paste. Let me know if this is the right link or if I'm just totally messing this whole thing up. Multi species. We if anyone wants to say anything specific about creek fishing, we got about five to ten more minutes. We can definitely five or ten more minutes because this whole thing was supposed to be about, about creek fishing. Ended up with me telling you guys how awesome you are, which is fine. <laughs> but we started out talking about creek fishing. Let's see. Multi-species weekly. I'm always down to talk about whatever the people in the chat want to talk about. If I make the thing about creek fishing and then everyone in the chat wants to talk about fishing off of a boat in the lake, I'm not going to sit there and be like, no, guys, we're talking about creek fishing, you know, and watch that number up in the corner of how many viewers I got go from, you know, 11, 10, 9, 8, 0. There's no one watching. I want to give the viewers what they want. I want to 
I don't just do these live streams to get some people do live streams to get hours to get more people checking them out, stuff like that. I do it a little for those reasons, but mostly I want to provide something for you, some entertainment value, something to come and hang out and watch. That's why I do the fishing lives. I need to get go out there when there's less wind because we've been having problems with that. That's why I did the movie night thing where we end up just reacting to videos, but it was awesome. Fishing trivia. I'm the content creator. I try. I want to do all these things and more in the future. So, Off the Hook was born in Utah. 99% of small fishing YouTubers rock, but the Sunfish Squad is without a doubt the best. <laughs> Thanks, Backyard Boy. And I'm going to be interviewing Backyard Boy, uh, I think the beginning of next month. We're going to make that work. If anyone wants to pitch in or sponsor in some way the. Um, the live streaming for next month, because I'm going to have to pay, I think, 25 bucks for the live streaming for next month. I'm not asking you guys to give me money, but I do have a, a PayPal link. I didn't put it in this video, but I do have one, and I can give you my Binmo if you want, whatever. But, yeah, basically uh, what Off the Hook did is he actually paid the whole 25, which I'm not asking anyone to do that. But I've been putting his link in every one of my videos. I've been telling people that the stream is sponsored by Off the Hook, so it helps get your name out there. But if not, I'll just try to try to find a way to pay for it. Just having a little bit of money problems over here. But just wanted to put that out there if anyone's interested or has the, the means to do that. Tips I see super fun community. Uh, nope, I want to go back very badly. I'm in Pennsylvania now. All right, get back to fishing. Enough talking about how awesome you guys are. Because you guys are awesome. I want to. <laughs> the only things I use for creek fishing, said Henry Harrington, is worms, curly tail grubs, and crickets. Those are awesome. Those are awesome. Worms and crickets are really awesome. And then curly tail grubs are great, but I would recommend start throwing. Bobby Garland type little things. You'll get all types of fish on there. Look at that action. I'm, not, I'm barely even moving it. Look, my hand's barely moving. That's wiggly. That's crazy wiggly. They put it on like a 132nd or even a 116th. Toss it out there. Shallow, deep, doesn't matter. Run it by the bank. Just reel it in, slow jiggle it. Don't let it pause if you're in a creek because it'll get stuck on rocks and stuff like that. When you first get to the creek, you want to catch a green sunfish, find some big rocks and, you know, shallow water near the big rocks and just walk down the bank. Just slow jiggle that, that jig or that a live worm, or whatever, in front of the rocks. They'll come out and smack it. Or long ears will even come out and do that, too. They're beautiful. Sharina is coming in from Hazleton, Indiana. We got I got sunfish squad people from everywhere. It's so awesome. Don't give me this. I might have to go down to uh, 480p, lower quality. I froze out for a second. That is the second time my internet's done that today. Hopefully it doesn't have that during multi-species weekly. Um, it's not as bad as NKR's was, though. But, yeah, I just blacked out for a second. I don't know if I went black or if I just froze, like making some weird face. Dirt Dragon said, I think he ran out of time. No, man. Uh, like I said, off the hook outdoors, he hooked me up. No pun intended. Because yeah, he paid for <laughs> he paid for this stuff uh, for me to stream for a whole month. He's an awesome guy, and like it's free to stream. But yeah, you'll run out of time. You won't be able to have the little sunfish thing up there. It'll say Streamyard, and then you won't be able to have guests if you just stream through YouTube. And then I can't, I can't share screens and stuff and do my trivia night and all that stuff on YouTube. There's Stream Labs, but it's difficult in certain ways. Up north, and I think there's, there's a paid and free version of that as well. I don't know how it all works. Up north fishing, thanks for being in here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Said, I love magnets for creeks, trout magnets. I am still trying to get used to Do you put any line weight or just fish them straight? Because I'm still trying to – you need super light line, super light rod. They're, they don't have a lot of castability. The, the heads on those things are so light. And so I'm not a huge fan of them personally because I just – can't seem to fling them very far and they seem to come in too fast and they just they're all over the place but i know people tear them up with those things small mouth trout panfish even little large mouth and stuff like that but yeah um they're awesome i'm more into little bigger jigs there's marabou jigs too soft plastic jigs and then spinners rooster tails 
I just certain things I need to I need to use more so I get more experience with them. Like spoons, I don't like spoons. They're awesome for like vertical jigging stuff like that, but I don't like using spoons like you would a spinner or, or like you would a rooster tail. I prefer spinners or rooster tails. And then um, same with jigs. Like I like soft plastic jigs. I like marabou jigs or hair jigs, whatever. But those trout magnets, I'm just a little bit like I need more. I need to go out and use them more. I guess is what it is. Let's see. Tips icy. I'm a little behind. Got to go fry up some perch, fellas. Later, come. Uh, if you've got time later on, we'll be doing um, multi species weekly. And then if I have any energy once Harrison has to leave, I'm not making any promises at all. But there's a slight chance that I might do another live stream, little after party thing on my channel. We can just sit here and talk, whatever. If I have time, I might do some fishing stories. So start thinking about that. I might let you guys. Say in the chat, or if anyone has the ability, has good internet, wants to come on here for like a minute or two, and I might ask you guys, I want to hear your stories about PBs, stories about just plain bad days fishing, no cussing in the chat, stuff like that, um, stories about awesome days fishing, stuff like that. So we might do that later if there's time after Multispecies Weekly. If not, I promise I'll do it very soon. Did he freeze? I froze for a second. Sorry, y'all. If you watch my videos, you know I fished the Weber River a ton. It was very hard to learn because it is so pressured. Yeah, the first time he went there, he's like, I, I probably won't catch anything. It's so pressured here. And then he caught, what was it, two brown trout, something like that. One was nice. And then I've seen him go back, what, at least once or twice since then and do well. So you just got to figure it out. So you can't, like, the, the worst thing you can do is be like, well, it's too pressured. Well, it's too blah, blah, blah. Well, it's too blah, blah. If there's fish in there, you can figure out how to catch them. I struggle with that with bass over the winter, and it's not like a story that has a happy ending because I didn't start doing well until it warmed up a little bit. But I know people who had success, and they must have just grinded harder than me. They must have not had trout in their area because <laughs> as soon as it becomes trout season, fishing for trout. Wisconsin is where Nate B's from. I need to get up there and fish with you, man. I need to come up there your way and fish with you. All I need, set me up a tent in your backyard, man. Bring me out like some Cheetos or something. I'll be good for the night. I'll fry up some fish because we'll catch them. And we'll just go fishing for like a week. You need to do that, Nate. <laughs> hey, yo, I missed one rod more than I thought. LOL. Says fishing with rib. What do you mean, man? All I want for Chris. I don't know what that. I don't know why I clicked that. What up, RRC? We're going for three more minutes. Sorry, guys. Three minute warning. We're gonna go for three more minutes, and then um, check my check my description for this video. It says Sharp Fishing TV. I'll share the the link for that other video. I'll try to share the link for that other video as well. Um, but we're doing multi species weekly tonight. It's starting in twenty minutes, so I'm gonna end this thing in two minutes. I'm gonna bring up. I'm gonna send the link, guys. But yeah, in literally twenty minutes, we're going live over there. We're gonna be talking Florida. We're gonna be talking bass. We're gonna be talking about saltwater. We're going to be talking about fishing in warm water. We're going to be talking about multi-species fishing, obviously. But Harrison's got a trip coming up. And then at the end of it, we're going to talk about how to stay motivated if you got a YouTube channel, if you're making content, stuff like that. So, guys, we are going to wrap it up. Um, here is – I'm getting the link again one more time. Copy. And then – so I'm putting it in the chat right now, multi-species weekly. But yeah, guys, if you can tune in, that'd be awesome. If not, I totally understand. But it should be a good discussion. We'll see how long we want to go. And if anyone wants to keep talking, I might hop over to my channel once Harrison has to go because it's it's an hour later in his time. I'm going to get to the rest of the stuff in the chat, and then we'll probably end this thing so I get at least five minutes in between streams. Fish with trout magnets, four-pound trout magnet line, five-foot ultralight, and it casts pretty dang far. That's what I'm learning fishing with WID is – Use eight pound line. It's like weed whacker compared to like little two pound line, something like that. But yeah, light line, light rods. My little spinners can cast across the dang river if you use the right rods and the right line. But that same light line sucks when you get snagged. So it's for me, it's a balancing act. But with trout magnets, you try to work them so fast and start bringing them in on closer to the top of the water, right? So you don't have to worry as much about getting snagged. They don't weigh anything. Look, it's RRC, the master of trivia. He was. First trivia, he was dirt tracking. But last time, our winner was Fishing Junk, which I hope joins us for Multispecies Weekly later because we need his expertise to talk about saltwater fishing. He does saltwater and fly fly fishing in saltwater. So, yeah, we got two um, 
trivia masters. But yeah, guys, I'm in this thing in like one minute. So let me try to speed address everything in the chat. Let's go as fast as I can. Grip fishing is very fun. You can find a lot besides creeks, like wildlife, breathe pure air, very relaxing, and we can enjoy fishing. Yeah, this guy is awesome, guys. Please go check out his channel. I caught a fish in Canada. Awesome channel. He's got a great uh, attitude, great personality, stuff like that. Really, really like watching his videos and listening to what he has to say. So check him out. EDJ said trout magnets, carpy magnets, panfish magnets. They are. They're all great for smaller fish. All those things have the same problem if you hook up with a giant fish. You might bend that hook out. Backyard boy said, I think that made my homemade spinners help a little. Oh, that's awesome. They were different from the other spinners. Yeah. In a, in a pressured place, go out and throw something you don't think the other people have thrown. Sometimes that stuff that wouldn't work in a normal place, the bass are like, what the heck is this? This is new. You know what I mean? JV, what's up, man? Driving but listening. Yeah, JV, you joined at, a, wrong, at, a, at a, a bad time. I'm ending this thing right now. Head on over to Sharp's channel. You you know how to get there. You were there yesterday. Um, I'm We're going to be on Sharp's channel in 18 minutes from now, doing multi-species weekly. So anyone who wants to tune into that, that'd be awesome. The, uh, the link should be in the description for this video, and I just shared it twice in the chat. Yeah, so I'm going to end this thing. Off the hook is back. Thanks, bud. I'd share yours, but I'm driving. No problem, man. No problem. I appreciate it. Anyone who does want to share out my multi-species weekly link, you guys would be an absolute legend for that. That'd be awesome. But yeah, uh, I think I'm going to end it there since I actually got it to the end of the chat. So thank you, Backyard Boy TV, JB Outdoors, uh, Dirt Tracking, Off the Hook. Anyone who's in here right now, there's 13 of you. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Uh, I'm not leaving for the night. I'm just leaving for like five, 10 minutes. Go to Sharp Fishing TV's channel. If you don't know how to get there, the link is in the description of this video. And in exactly 17 minutes, we are going to be talking all types of awesome fishing content. So come join us over there. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. But you guys know the drill. Give me some knuckles through that screen. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks, guys, for joining in. And I will see you soon. And if you guys have to head out and you can't join us for the other stream, thank you so much. Have a great night. Have a blessed night. And we will see you soon. Later, Backyard Boy. Later, everybody. Going to be right back on on Sharp's channel soon if you guys didn't didn't hear me. Later, Sunfish King. 